So this is Neofly's dialogue and we're at R-O-D-E, which is off the coast of Okinawa. Currently have $363,000. And we are in a Cessna 310. SZ, that's a big reward for zero weight. What a search zone. I mean, it says 2486138.98. But I'm not really a plane that. I mean, it shows a helicopter. Search and rescue zone. Find the crash site using a ping and bring back survivor if possible. I think that probably requires a helicopter. So, I'm gonna guess that that's not what I should be doing. Intriguing though, and that's a lot of money. But really what I want to do is, from Okinawa, go to Taipei. And there seems to be something here in Taipei. Or no, that's just indicating the airport and not showing a job. There's... Okay, there's that job. That's at... Taoyuan City, or something around there. A bit far out, but... 801 pounds of medicine to RCDI. The runway is only 1,700 feet. <laughs> hmm... Well, it doesn't look that bad. At least it's not a grass strip. I'm probably just gonna be VFR though, but... I've been sticking to real time, so we'll keep it that way. Well, at least we're starting off closer to dawn now, I guess. Or further into dawn. Still okay, right? Okay, we're carrying more than we need to, but whatever. Okay. Oh yeah, um, yeah here's uh, Reshade. If we really wanted to play around with stuff. Cinematic, does, half of them don't even, I'll have to tweak numbers for, like the Death of the Field ones. But some of them are simple enough. Advanced CRT. Reefs. Basic CRT. Colorful poster version. Tiny planet. That's a weird one. Drunk. Oh wow, I didn't even know if I had this one. Well, there's, there's the sort of the sepia, I mean, the, the, there's a film era where this would have been about right. Let me just make sure. Uh, I wanted to stay at 5,000. I guess we'll go to 7,000. ASCII. That's special. Technical, oh, this is what I was looking for. Technicolor is nice. I don't know why there's two of them. Oh, that, that's uh, much more... This is a cleaner one. This is a greenier one. Look at that, it's even got the sort of film thing going. For special purposes, but on, all in all I don't mind the stock color. I forgot how long 370 nautical miles are with this plane. <laughs> it, it's a, it's a longish flight. I'm pondering just to make things more exciting and break the monotony of the water around here. Heading down to 
this island, Miyakojima, because it's got some good runways. I think one of them is one of the one of the custom handcrafted airports. I think I'll just do that. Change of plans. And that'll also save me some concern about the fuel. We'll get some there. Shimoji Island Airport. We're still more than 100 nautical miles away from Miyako. Nakojima. Well, they've given me the altimeter. And this says we're at 7,000, but that says we're at 7,283. 29.76. Hmm. Very suspicious. I think we're probably going around on this one. I needed to get a sense of the runway in the midst of this mess. Oh, there it is. Wow. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a loop here. Not officially sanctioned flight tendencies, but gosh darn it. Feels like there's wind. Didn't really get a wind update. We have touched down. So this is just a temporary stopover. No, I heard it. I think this is going to be messed up. Uh, okay. It's not going to give me a taxi ribbon either. I can't. <laughs> It won't let me... Well, that looks like the direction for parking. <laughs> so, I'll go this way. Can I do it yet? Oh, I'll Shimoji just keep doing Ryan, say again, that's all I've got. You don't suppose there's a little box for me to park in? This is going to be an annoying relationship, isn't it? <laughs> I guess over here is okay. Yeah, that wasn't working out anyway. Um, I'm going to pretend that this is this is a parking spot. <laughs> All right, so I am now continuing my flight from R O R S over to Taipei or the suburb of Taipei where we are going to be dropping off the 801 pounds of medicine. I made the stopover because I had to do other things. So I decided that it would be good to land before reaching Taipei, which is still another hour away. So here we go. I'm going to uh, presumably have the cargo still and I am going to turn the plane back on while I was off. Uh, I saw that the weather was pretty bad. It's nice that it's cleared up. Uh, it was raining actually on the plane while I was busy. So uh, we want a battery. Well, I know how to get to runway 17. Uh, I, I'll just go there. We don't seem to have a taxi ribbon or anything. Uh oh, we've got a vehicle here. Alright, it's going off. 
very wise. And on we go. All right, gear up. Transporter, good flight. Flaps up. Some gusting winds here. Yep, serious clouds, uh, though not as bad as they were before. Bit of a haze, though. Cleaned up the plane, but we already have some streaks. <laughs> Got dirty in a hurry sitting out there. I cleaned up the plane when I shut it down. But yeah, it got a little bit dirtier because I had just left it sitting there with the sim running for like an hour. Okay, frequency change. Seems like a good time to retract the landing lights. No more with this running gag. I'm going to do the landing lights properly from now on, hopefully. I'll remember. Oh, we're getting some rain. Apparently just on that window. Mainly. Going higher does increase the range of the plane somewhat, but not by a huge amount. After all, it can't really go too far up because it doesn't have pressurization. Alright, so since the flight has been over water and there hasn't been much to talk about, I am planning to fly by Taipei before landing. Seems like the right thing to do. Everything looking sunny now. And we remain at 7,000 feet. Okay, so we have Taiwan in sight. A little bit of land right there. And approaching Taipei. Well, if we're going to sightsee, we might as well go to a lower altitude now. I think I had some free Taipei scenery, but not a whole lot's going on there. Seeing some ugly basic textures there, but it's trying to get some photo scenery in. It just loaded some patches. It's a little bit slow to do that, though. It's not like I'm in a fast plane or anything. Anyway, before I forget, I've got to extend the landing lights. We're, we're low enough. On previous occasions, when I've flown over Taiwan, it always seemed to be very cloudy. And maybe I'll curve around these hills and get lower here. Just skimming across these. As one does. Well, I... I think I can see Taipei 101 there. Yeah, but not a whole lot else going on. Well, there it is. Taipei 101 and some assorted other buildings, but not a whole lot. Oh, and things just changed, removing all the autogen. <laughs> I don't know, the scenery loading isn't great right now. Ah, it's gotten choppy even. Again, I'm not going that fast. This should not be difficult. Nope, Taipei everyone. Or at least this particular part of it. With some tall buildings. And I guess that's a stadium. Got a lot more city over here. 
There is a official looking building in front of us there. Uh, is that a temple? Or is it... No, I'm not sure, sure. Shrine, temple... One way or another. We've got that. Taiwan Minju Park is what that says. That... No, I don't think... I don't know if that building is what it is. Hmm. I guess it's this Taiwan Minju Park. But I think it probably has a different name. Okay, well, anyway, focusing on landing now. Lung Tang. Well. Looks like we, we get to pick, and I'll pick 22. Well, it's a very short runway. Gonna have to be careful. At least it's a nice day. It's an oddly scattered sort of... I don't know, I think the scenery just isn't loading right, because it just looks so scattered. Or like the buildings aren't the right size in some places. I don't know. It's strange. Okay, well I don't super duper see it, but we're starting. Is that it? I think that's it. It has actually got sort of a run-up zone here, but there are trees covering it. So... It was a it was a hard landing, admittedly, but transporter from dispatch. It was more important to, to actually stop. <laughs> so okay, well, let me announce taxi. Love tank traffic ray eyes Romeo Alpha four one two is clear of the runway. Okay, well, I guess I just go somewhere. Everybody's parked. Well, some people are parked in the other direction. Let me park over here. I'll, I'll park so that it's easier to come back out. I'll park like this. Pilot, stand by. The cargo is being removed. Okay, one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, that is done. 394,000 now. And here... Well... The choices aren't great. I mean, that's not that much of an improvement. If we take a look at some places nearby... The big airport is RCTP. A King Air for a deposit of 670. Payload is not great on that. A Dornier DO-31 would be special. Uh, I could get a loan and get an ATR-42. But maybe that's jumping the gun. We should take a few steps in the middle first. Once again, I'll just think about it. It's not like I'm against the Cessna 310. It's been a good plane for us. Anyway. So with that for now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. There's a sticker there. Huh. 
I didn't even notice that before. I knew about the bobblehead. Oh, sorry. I had known about the bobblehead here. But then there's a sticker here. Does the bobblehead have to be activated for the sticker hotspot to show up? No. But then it becomes zero of uh, zero and one of nine. If you have that, then this is two of nine. So I guess instead, I thought there were like nine different bobbleheads, but what there are are nine different Easter eggs in the plane. Hmm. Oh, there's another sticker there. Okay. Well, oh, now I'm on a sticker hunt. Scruffy mongoose. Okay, there's another sticker there. Trying to find places where stickers might occur. Okay, okay, I think I, uh, I'm wrapping it up. So, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.